Are you ready for the new legend, Moon In? Are you, is your bow ready? Nope. If not, I'm here to give you some tips, some strings, some combos to do with bow. We got our top 10 bow combos and strings that I used in my bow gameplay. And I'm gonna give them to you to help you with your bows today. And we're gonna start off with the side light to side light dodge read that is very easy to, for people to do who dodge on the ground. Side light puts you out there and let's say they dodge in. You can do a couple things. You can uh, let them dodge in and just do it again. You can also dodge through and then side light up backwards. And if they tend to dodge away, you can actually dodge towards them and do the same thing. Now, after you hit the dodge read, you can then perform a down light and a neutral air after that. So let's say they do this. After that, it's true. As long as they're not in the air, if they're a little bit in the air, they will miss, but most of the time it's true. You can do something like that, jump side air. So when you do down light, neutral light, down light, jump nair is true. And down light, side air is almost always true um, when it comes to, so that's why you can perform that after a dodge read after, after you get hit. Cause you cannot do down or, or side light into down light. It's not true. People can dodge out of it all the time. This is why after you do a side light, you want to see what they're going to do and then get the read off that and then down light afterwards. All right, the next string we have, it comes after after a side light also, uh, but this is if they're trying to dodge up, dodge up and away. Uh, I get this a lot of people who don't wanna get double side lighted. If they try to double side light, you see that you will miss because they try to dodge up. So a lot of people do this and I'm gonna be doing a side light, dash towards, dash chase dodge towards, neutral light, like so. This also works if they're just trying to jump out of the way too. They can jump out of the way and still get hit by this attack. All right, number three here, we have the recovery chase dodge recovery. So let's get this guy in the air here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna do is recovery, chase dodge in the direction we are recovering and then recover again. This works mostly at low health because if you have too high of a health, they will get hit further on. So let's get that guy in the air here. Chase dodge like that. So let's take it a little bit slower here, just real quick. And as you can see, I have the buttons on the bottom here. So I hit the recovery and then I'm going to chase dodge straight to the right, as you can see, correct right there, and then recover immediately again and hit them again. So it'll hit them way up, way up in the air. It's like a exhausted recovery, so it won't hit you as high, but they usually, if they're trying to get away from you and fall back down, they get hit by this so much. I hit, I hit this all the time. All right, so the next string we have is Neutralite, Nair, followed up by another Nair. So I'll show you how, what, what happens here. So Neutral Air to, or Neutralite to Nair is not true, which is that to that, is not true. It, it's You can still hit that pretty quick because people don't know how to dodge out of it sometimes. And even if they do, the Nair will hit some of the, uh, the dodge reads. So let's say he dodges in like this. Look, I can hit that. It's perfect dodge read. It hits a lot of places. The only thing it doesn't wouldn't hit is if it hit if they if they go across like this. Uh, but if they dodge anywhere in, in and up, it'll hit. And then you can follow that up with another nair by chase dodging up so, so, something like this, because a lot of people like to fall. And then you could like hit them again, and you can even go for a recovery for the kill. Sweet. Uh, but usually, usually the actual string is neutralite, nair, chase up, jump nair. I can't tell you how many people love to try to dash away and dodge away up when they're trying to get plan against me. So you remember how I have this little fancy attack where you could just do this? Well, that specific move is very, you have to dodge an extra bit closer to hit that neutralite. Uh, but instead I got something else for that one. That's a, that's a dodge read I also like to hit a lot. If they like to dodge away and up, what I like to do is dash jump towards them. Yeah, and then do, so it's a chase dodge towards them followed by a jump right after in a nair. This hits them really well. And this also can hit people who like double jump too. Just like so. So you're going to do a side light here followed by a chase dodge towards, jump at them as they're dodging and then neutral air and they just can't get away from you. All this kind of works together. This is what makes bow an interesting weapon because as Scythe, you hit a weapon or, or an attack and you can follow up in different directions. Bow is similar in the way. A lot of these follow up with, here's the Nair I was talking about. 
And you follow it up, you can do a recovery. Chase, chase by a recovery here. Again, so the, that combo works together. That's how you get up in the air. A lot of cool things here. A lot of cool things here. And by the way, guys, if you are enjoying the video, make sure you hit the like button down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure you hit that freaking bell for notifications because I'm going to try to be doing more tips and helping you guys out videos uh, as time goes on. Also, I have a bunch of videos in the past. I'll say I have a full guide on Bo if you guys want to check that out. Uh, hopefully, the link will be in the description. I have a full playlist of helpful tips in the playlist if you're gonna, you need some help getting to Diamond because that is the, where I'm at. All right, the next one we have is ground pound down air. And what happens is he comes towards the stage and I try to ground pound off stage. If you didn't know, I think bow ground pound is the strongest ground pound in the game, or at least it was at one point. It might've been nerfed since then, but it's very strong. So he's in yellow. I'm gonna ground pound him down. And this only, obviously only works at certain health to make it real quick. It, any higher, like and then orange maybe, and red, you're either gonna kill them or they're gonna be so low they're gonna react to you. But what happens is you ground pound here and then you chase dodge down, followed by a down air. A side air also can work here, but down air is usually hits further down and it stops you from going too low. Cause if you do a side air chase dodging down, you go a lot lower to the ground, but ground pound chase dodge down, followed by a down air. And if they you're in the right position, they get hit and they die. And then you can follow up with multiple down airs or side airs as need be. All right, this next one is a pretty good one that I like to do. It's not as hit commonly, but it's still very good and gets them up in the air again. So you can do the recovery kill, uh, but it starts off with a down light neutral light and then it puts them this far in the air. But what's good about that is I can do chase dodge up and follow it up like that. So actually what I'm doing here is I'm literally doing a chase dodge up followed by a jump and that get some way in the air. This also works for people who are going away. You just have to guess if they're going to go away or they're going to go towards you. So if I do something like this, there we go. It's similar to what we had before where you chase dodge towards them, but it's a little further away. So we start off with the down light, which is a down light attack, which a lot of people don't know that apparently followed by a neutral light, which is a no hands on, just a normal neutral light attack. And then you're going to chase dodge Diag up and diagonal or straight up depending so this one's an up diagonal and then chase dodge up or then jump up and follow by in there and then once again that can hit him in a position where you could do recovery or something like that and then as you can see this is the dodging straight up so if you didn't know you can actually chase dodge straight up in the air it's a very good mechanic to get used to beating other people and getting them thrown off so we do a down light neutral light and you can see I just chase dodge way up in the air. And because it's not quite high enough, you have to jump one more time. Boom. All right. So this next one is not really much of a dodge read, but it's a very good tip. Uh, it's more like dodging their attacks <laughs> and then punishing them. So I like to do this when I'm either off stage over here or say like they're playing against another bow or a guitar player or a, or a down lighting sword, something that goes low like this. I like to do a back like jump away from them, a dash jump away from them, followed by a gravity cancel down light in the opposite direction, okay? So this could be just good like this, but sometimes getting in the air and doing it will hit them and keep you above their attack. And then you can follow up with a jump side air or a jump uh, neutral air, follow up with that. So it's pretty good. There it is, as you can see. So it's very cool. Um, I like doing this off stage because people think I'm gonna go right here. So I tend to do something like this and get on. You'll see me, if you got some of my ranked gameplay, you'll see me hit a lot of those uh, attacks a lot. And help, and you can see like right there, he was falling down. So this is for, like I'm playing with a person who's static on the ground, but if he's jumping in the air and stuff, I can still I can still hit this guy when he's in the air a little bit. Instead of the down light going underneath him, doing this can actually hit people in the air. So, and a lot of people move in the air. So it's actually a good, technique to use in the, just for a bow. So you gotta know this true combo to kill people at the earliest time, I believe. It's one of the earliest times you can kill them with a basic combo. And it is down light, down light jump recovery. It's very basic, uh, but it's, a, it's something that you could do at higher health and kill them a lot faster, okay? All you do is just a basic down light, 
It's very simple. And then just jump and recover. One of the easiest combos that I don't use enough in this game. Uh, but is very good, very easy to use. You need to use this combo. Now, another follow-up. Instead of doing a downlight to recovery, you could... With a lower health. And if you hit this neutral layer like this, you can actually follow up with recoveries afterwards. Uh, because they're in the air. It's just a good... You can just follow up with a neutral, a neutral recovery right after. Okay? So a lot of people will not see it coming. It'll hit a lot of people. This guy is, like, perfectly dodging. So I'm trying to back up a little bit. Um, but it... It just hits people really good. As you see the dodge away, it caught them. So try to do neutral air, neutral light into recovery. Now I'm going to show you something that Bo is very good at and is very fun. It's very, it's, it's very hard to string together, uh, but it's something that you could try to get used to. And it's hitting them in the air. You've seen a couple of them throughout the thing. It just nares and recoveries throughout. And it's all about chase dodging after them, okay? So let's hit him in the air. Just chase dodge after. Nair. And a kill. It's killed. I mean, he has a little bit higher health. But you can follow up uh, after you hit him on the low. Jump. Recovery. Boom. See? It's, uh, it's all about variety. But you want to do nares and you want to do recoveries. And try to guess where they're going to go in the air. Chase dodge up. Chase dodge up again. Got him. Oh, he's not dead. That's because I took a second there. Um, but chase dodging up is a big play and to towards them see that So when you're doing your strings in the air to try to hit them One thing you got to watch out for, for them doing a down air against you So you can actually back off a little bit like pretend you're going towards them then back off a little bit and then do another recovery towards them This is the what, what you're gonna what you have to learn is the chase dodging towards them And then obviously you get them in the air however you want I did a nair um because you hit a lot of nares on the ground with bow. So nair on the cover, you see I'm chase dodging up. And then I see he's going to the right. So boom, recovery to the right. And then I'm going to chase. I hit him way to the right. So I'm going to ch chase dodge towards them. And then I met. Okay, then the, the whole thing messed up there. But as you can see what I'm doing here. And you can also like, okay, fall. Like, see if he attacked right there. He, he, he would have missed. I could have killed him. Obviously, I did not. But... You see my point. Like, there's a lot of stuff you can do in the air against this weapon. You'll see there's a couple times in most recent ranked games when I was playing somebody where he didn't even sit on the ground. I kept him in the air for so long because I was just waiting for him to attack, and then I'd attack. Or then I'd fake it, and I'd actually attack him. All right, that is the top 10 combo strings and tips I have for Bo for you. For when when you get out there and you play Munin. But you know what? I got, I got an extra one for you. You know what? Let's give you an extra one. This one is only an extra one because it's so rare to hit and it only works when the opponent is at white health and that is down light do down air nair so there that was the combo isn't that dope that is one of the coolest strings in the game but it only works at white health because the down air actually hits really hard and so if he's at more health than this he won't be in the right spot to do a nair very cool Anyways, guys, let me know in the comments. Did you guys enjoy the video? Do you guys think it helped your gameplay? Are you ready to play Munin when she comes out? And are you ready to play Bo? I know I know, 90% of you play Scythe. So you guys already got your Scythe down. Now it's time to get better with the bow. Anyways, thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, hit the like button down below. Subscribe, and we'll see you guys next time. Peace.